Hey everybody, I'm talking to the guys as well as the girls today because my topic is going gray. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, you ask, why the heck are you sitting there with shades on? Um, my eyes are a little sensitive right now and I'm going to be using my computer in a few minutes to show you guys some photos and uh, where my computer is located. There is a skylight right above me and it's pretty bright right now. So it's either the shades or the squinchy like this. So I'm going to go with the shades for a little bit anyway. So, uh, September, middle of September of last year, Jason, our son, tried to convince me to start a YouTube channel. His dad had already said no, and uh, I was becoming more interested in it. So Jason was hitting me up. So that was the very first video on our channel. So if you go back and look, um, it was something like, Will I Start a New Channel? Or a channel. Well, uh, in that video, Jason was saying, uh, Mom, what would you talk about? I didn't even hardly answer. He would say something, I'd go, yeah, yeah. And one of the things he said is, you might talk about going gray. And I went, hmm, yeah, I might. And honestly, y'all, I've never forgotten that. I wanted to talk about going gray several times, but there's kind of this thing that I don't have that many photos of the actual going gray part. Uh, I do have some photos that I'm going to show you at the end. I am trying to do this video uh, by myself. Uh, as you know, if you've been watching for any time, I can't see well enough to use the editing program. So when I video by myself, it's I call it a one-hit wonder. It's one take. You get it with all the bloopers and everything in it. So we're going to just have to see how this goes. But um, anyway, um, I want to just start by saying I wish I had gone gray years and years earlier. Who knew? <clears throat> George used to say to me, I think you would look really good with gray hair. Why don't you just quit coloring your hair? And I just wasn't buying into it. I have been coloring my hair since I was around 35 years old, and I am soon to be 61. I have never paid a hairstylist to, um, I've never paid a hairstylist to color my hair. It's always been from the Clairol bottle uh, this girl I knew back when I was 35 was dyeing her own hair and she told me how easy it was and no need to spend all that money and uh, I gave it a shot and it, you know it is easy but you know the older I got the more often I had to color it I knew it was terrible for my hair but uh, I would always get this little halo. It's all gray now, but you know, the, the halo would be all around my face here, gray, and a little gray spot up the middle that was the first thing to go gray. And uh, so I was coloring it at the end before I decided to go gray about once every three weeks. And uh, I'm almost positive that was not good for my hair. And I never really stuck with the same hair color. Sometimes I was darker hair, looked more like black. Sometimes it was had a reddish tint to it. Sometimes it was light brown. You know, and then uh, in 2009, we got the swimming pool. And so I have spent a lot of time in the past uh, when I had the brown hair in the pool with the chlorine. And... Uh, in the sunshine and that's just turning my hair red too so it was kind of like fighting and losing battle all the time and when I finally decided I am going gray was keep in mind that George kept telling me you need to do it you need to do it I said when I retire I'm going to let my hair go gray but not until I retire I did not want to make a drastic change like that while I was still working 
Well, as I've repeated on several videos, I put in for medical disability due to my eyesight in May of 2017, and I just thought it would take months and months, kind of like Social Security does. Anytime you ever need anything from Social Security, it takes forever. And um, it was not so. Within a month, I had my letter saying I was medically retired. And uh, so as soon as I got the letter in the mail saying that I was retired, it was about three days later. Well, I went in, I put in my resignation and everything and explained everything to the superintendent and the, my principal. And, hi, Tara. And uh, then, about three days later, I went to the hair salon and got my hair all chopped off. Now, my hair was not as long as it is now. This is the longest it's been since I was in high school, probably. And, yes, I was planning on letting it grow out, but uh, due to not being able to get out to the hairstylist for a while, uh, I haven't had a good haircut in probably three months. And uh, so it was not that long, but it was probably this long. And uh, so when I got it cut, I cried. It was, she did just what I asked her to do, which was chop it off as short as you can go without me looking like a man. Because the whole point of it was to get rid of the, br the brown hair coloring as soon as possible and let it grow out from the roots. And, um, you know, I, we, George has suggested chopping it off, and I was in agreement. If you're going to do it, go for it. So, um, I do have one photo of that transition where I had short hair that is still brown from the hair color, but mostly gray and very short. And then I went back a second time after that and had some more cut off. And that time I left the hair salon crying. Um, literally crying. I was so upset. The girl just did not understand what I meant. She was very young and I probably did not give very good instructions. And she buzzed me down to the scalp in the back and then the top was still long. And, and when she finally showed me in the mirror of the back, that's when I started crying. And this part was still wet. And uh, I walked out. I just said, I can't take it. I didn't even... Well, I had an appointment for a mammogram at the time that I was crying, and I told her, I said, I have got to go. I've got an appointment, which I had told her that when I walked in. And uh, it was just a total nightmare. There were no pictures taken of that, I can guarantee you. And uh, this was in 2017, so we didn't have a YouTube channel. And I had thought about documenting the process. I don't know what I was going to do with it. I was going to take some videos on my phone or something, but I just didn't know what I was going to do with them, and therefore I never did, plus the fact that I was so miserable. There were no photos being taken anyway, and that was probably the real reason I didn't carry that out further. That would have been a good video for YouTube, straight up, showing you what it was like. But um, I didn't go anywhere that whole summer, and then they gave me a retirement party. Okay, let's see, let me get my story straight here. It was the beginning of, no, probably the end of June, maybe. It was the end of June when I found out I was retired. So it was probably around the 1st of July when I got my hair cut, maybe. And then um, my dear sweet friends gave me a retirement party. They had it planned for August. And um, a hurricane hit, so we had, they canceled that, and then they rescheduled. And my hair still had not, it was still short, but the brown was still there. And I was embarrassed to be out in it, but, but what are you going to do? This is live TV. Someone's knocking at my door. But I'm not going to answer, and I'll tell you why. 
I have a dishwasher out there that I want somebody to take. It's out by the side of the road for free. And they're probably just asking permission. So I'm going to continue on. That's Gooby, the doorbell. Anyway, I'm going to continue on. If I can remember what I was saying. Oh, my retirement party. And my hair was atrocious and I was ashamed and all that. And then um, I do have, like I said, some pictures, but just not enough pictures. And uh, <laughs> and uh, I decided that uh, I would just stay in my house. I did not want to go buy groceries. I would say, George, please go by yourself. I do not. I don't want to be seen in public. And then uh, once the brown was finally gone from my hair uh, and it was fully gray, I liked it. I was so surprised, and uh, it would get a little longer, and I liked it, and then I kept it kind of short around here, and then I decided I was going to let it grow a little longer, which is, I, not, I had not intended it to be this long, but I was going to let it grow some, but this is where I am today, needing a haircut, but fully gray, and um, I would encourage you men or women, if you are at that crossroads to choose, should I or should I not go gray? Um, talk to other folks that have gone gray. And um, you need to talk to people that have colored their hair though, not just those that went from their own hair to gray. I see people with beautiful you know, dark black hair, and then that silver hair comes in. I think it's just beautiful. But um, I have more white than I do dark. Or at least that's what my eyes see. And as y'all know, they can't see very well at all. And uh, <clears throat> I say embrace yourself. I feel... Oh, I just can't tell you how free I feel about not having to go to color my hair anymore. And it just so happens I'm one of those that like the end product. So, um, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get my pictures pulled up. And this is because I am an amateur at this stuff. I'm going to go be I'm going to hold the phone and show you the pictures. So, fingers crossed that they get where they're supposed to be and um, have a walk back through time. Okay. Let's see how this goes. All righty. This is my cousin, Phyllis, and myself. And this was in 2005, or yes, March of 2005. You can see um, I have the brown hair from a bottle, but I kept my hair cut short. Oh, I hope y'all can see these. And this is a family photo. My hair was probably shorter than Jason's, and you can see Matt's down on his collar, so, um, oh, I don't know if y'all are seeing it or not. I'm just going to stick with this right here and hope for the best. This was when I was the secretary at the high school. This I have on my Texas vest for the livestock show with the more of the brown color hair. And this was on one of our anniversaries and um, probably four or five years ago. Shoulder length, little curl, brown hair. This was at the Alamo. 
brown hair, kind of red, and there's that streak I'm telling you about. Needed to be colored, big streak. Uh, longer hair, kind of brownish, grayish, reddish. And oh my God, here it is, the haircut. And of all pictures, George looked so handsome and sweet looking at me, and I looked awful. Obviously, we were at the pool, and uh, I had cut it, and you could see the brown along with the gray, and this is probably how it looked at my retirement party. I was pretty embarrassed. And this is shortly after that. It's still, still very short. I got a little more gray there. This was out at Bath and Bay where we go eat. I have some videos on that. And this was probably about six months after I cut it. It's starting to look more like a girl's haircut again, maybe. I liked the way it looked there. And this is uh, on one of our anniversaries. Maybe the 37th, 38th. And uh, pretty white looking and short. This was on my 60th birthday. It was still short. I had a cake all to myself because George doesn't like regular birthday cake with buttercream frosting, yum yum, half a gallon of milk, and a huge fork. And this is us hunting, still very short and gray. Well, we were hugging, not hunting, but we were on a hunting trip with the boys. Goob and I at the computer, it's growing out. It still looks really white to me. You can still see some black. Goob and I again, uh, growing out a little longer, still had some dark. Matt and I, Matt caught the gar. I was pretending to fish with, uh, kiss it. <laughs> I like the way it looked there. I like the hairstyle, and I like that it still had some dark in there. And this is me with George and Jared. Look how long George's hair was. I liked my hair like that, about that length and that cut and the color. And this is the very first video we made where Jason tried to talk me into um, doing a YouTube channel. So, if I'm lucky, you will, um, let's see where to turn. If I'm lucky, you will have been able to see those pictures. If not, I may have to trash this video, or I may have to ask George if he would do some editing on the pictures. So, uh, again, if you, if you like the video, please consider subscribing. I would like to say this, that um, subscribing is free. It's not like buying a magazine subscription. It helps the YouTuber, and it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, there's a little bell up at the top, and it's a notification bell. If you click that, well, actually, it'll be on the top on your computer, but on our page, the bell is somewhere where you subscribe. And um, it will let you know when we have a video coming out. And hit the thumbs up, thumbs up, down if you must. And uh, I'd really like to get some comments from you guys. Um, Who's trying to go gray? Who's already gray? I mean, I know our audience is mostly women. And they're between the ages of 60 to 80 is our average viewer. And uh, how long have you been gray? If you're on the fence about going gray, comment below. If you made a decision by watching this video, please let me know that too. And um, other than that, y'all have a good day. You hear? Come back.